Hey guys, welcome back! Here's another episode of some of the best mods released for Minecraft 1.16.5 in the past week. I'll be covering both Forge and Fabric, and all the links can be found in the description below. I also want to mention that most of your 1.16.4 mods should work on this newer version. Afeet Wood is a new type of wood which can be found in the Nether, specifically in Crimson and Warped Forests. Just like other wood types, it can be used to create the likes of planks, slabs, stairs, and fences. Craftable Deeds is a mod which adds similar mechanics to what you'd see in multiplayer servers. Deeds can be crafted by surrounding a nether star with paper inside a crafting table. When placed inside an item frame, a deed will claim an area of 8 by 8 chunks. Any other players who enter the area won't be able to place or break blocks. Macaws paintings will add 20 new paintings to Minecraft, which aim to fit the vanilla style. Like normal paintings, they range in size, with some being one block in size and others being nine blocks in size instead. Enhanced Celestials aims to make Minecraft's nights more interesting. Currently, there are two new moon types, which are the Blood Moon and Harvest Moon. During a Blood Moon, the number of monsters that spawn will be greatly increased, and you won't be able to sleep. Whereas during a Harvest Moon, the crop growth rate and the amount of crops that are dropped will be massively increased. The developer has more events planned too, with the Blue Moon being next. Diamond ingots will overhaul diamonds in your Minecraft world. From now on, mining diamond ore will return you with diamond shards. These can be placed inside a smithing table where two shards will create one diamond ingot. Ingots replace regular diamonds and can be used to craft tools and armor. Memento Mori is an interesting mod, making a drastic change to Minecraft. When starting up a world, you'll only be given a certain amount of time to play, which is randomly chosen. When the time is up, you lose your world. Aetherite is a new ore, which is similar to netherite, except it can be found on the surface and not the nether. It doesn't spawn next to air either, so you'll really need to search for it. They can be turned into ingots and then turned into armor and tools, where they have the same stats as netherite items and are also blast resistant. Crafting Mania will add recipes to all items in Minecraft that don't currently have one. Now you'll be able to craft the likes of saddles, name tags, sponges, and spawners. And I recommend installing just enough items too, so that you can get quick access to all the new recipes. Cheese making will add 20 different types of cheeses to Minecraft, which provide different effects when consumed. You can create cheese by milking cows, curding the milk, and placing it in a cheese rack to age it. All the different types of cheeses can be made by aging your cheese in different locations, such as in caves or in the sky, and will give effects like night vision, strength, and water breathing. XP coins and games makes quite a few changes to Minecraft's experience system. Firstly, there's four coins which have copper, silver, gold, and platinum variants. These coins are worth different amounts of experience, with copper coins being worth 10 XP and platinum coins being worth 1000 XP instead. All these coins have a chance of being dropped from creatures in your world. There are a few new games included too, where you can try to turn your coins into a profit to get more experience. Dog Reborn allows you to give your wolf extra lives to stop him from dying. The default item is a diamond but this can be changed in the config file. If your wolf does die, then they'll be teleported back to your spawn point. Additional Ender items add some new end-themed items to your game. Firstly, there's a Warped Pearl Bundle, which can hold up to 256 Ender Pearls, which is great if you have an Enderman farm. Ender Torches are new versions of torches, which can travel up to 20 blocks and place themselves. The disenchantment table can remove enchantments and curses from your items, but at a cost. The final new block is the Ender Jukebox, which will play music discs no matter how far away you are. Warp Resistance is a new enchantment which will prevent the damage you take when landing after throwing an Ender Pearl. A new enemy in the Ender Phantom 
which is a more deadly version of the Phantom and can only be found in the N Dimension. Portable Jukebox adds two new items, which are the Portable Note Block and Portable Jukebox. You can place a disc inside the jukebox by combining them in a crafting table and right-clicking to play. Whereas the note played by the Portable Note Block depends on your height level, you have a good chance of finding these new items in dungeons. Adorn is a mod that I've covered before, but it's recently been made available for Forge too. It adds new decoration blocks to your game, which includes the likes of chairs, sofas, tables, chimneys, and more. It's a great mod for decorating your home. Prefab will allow you to instantly create structures in Minecraft, using the blueprints which the mod provides. The mod doesn't feel too easy, either, as each blueprint costs compressed materials to make. As an example, creating the produce farm will cost you hundreds of brick, dirt, and glowstone. One of my favorite features of this mod is that you can preview structures before placing them. Overall, there are loads of structures to create, which includes houses, farms, greenhouses, and windmills. The developers also plan to add more structures soon. Time in a bottle will collect time while you're in your inventory, and can be used to accelerate the rate at which blocks tick. A great way to use it would be to use it on crops or furnaces. Feudal Weaponry adds new medieval-themed weapons to Minecraft. You'll find the likes of bases, long swords, katans, and spears. Compared to regular weapons, they're more powerful, and they provide special effects such as applying bonus true damage and having increased reach. Drops is a really interesting mod causing all drops to be physics-based. Instead of simply floating, items will hit the ground realistically and bounce off other blocks and items. If you sneak while dropping items, you can throw them with a lot of force instead, which can damage mobs. Guillotine is a new enchantment which has two levels and can be applied to your axes and swords. Currently, it will cause players to drop their heads when killed, having a 50% chance on level 1 and a 100% at level 2. Concrete Plus is a simple mod which adds new slab variants for concrete and all its colors. The developer has more planned for this mod, such as adding the stairs and walls variants in the future. Paradox Slabs is a small quality of life mod, which allows you to break double slab blocks individually, which is something I'd love to see included in the vanilla game. Colorful masonry will allow you to create bricks of different colors that all match the included vanilla dyes. You can do this by creating a masonry oven and placing your clay and dye inside as well as a fuel source to create the new bricks. There is stone cutter support too, allowing you to create walls, stairs, and slabs. Another small quality of life mod is Trample Disabler. When jumping on farmland style blocks, you'll no longer break them. That concludes this list. Check out my channel for more Minecraft videos and subscribe for more.